Hello dear friends, welcome to my YouTube channel SI Logics Automation. In this video, I am going to talk about electronic differential pressure transmitter. Uh, we know that the importance of a different types of a transmitters in a, any process industry. So the function of a, any electronic transmitter is that it uh, gives the output in a, a standard signal that is 4 to 20 milliampere and for that uh, there are basically two sections are there one is for the sensing and second is for the signal conditioning system uh, so here particularly uh, i am talking about the dp cell it is also called as a dp cell differential pressure transmitter uh, so these differential pressure transmitters can be used for the uh, for measurement of uh, different uh, for measurement of a flow as well as a level inside a tank So this electronic differential pressure transmitter uh, which consists of a uh, two sensors one is a primary sensor which is located here in a pipeline to generate the differential pressure it is called as a orifice plate and here we are interested to measure the flow rate through this pipe this is our m so the water is coming from this or maybe any liquid may be there so that is flowing through this pipe and we want to uh, measure it and convert uh, this flow rate into a 4 to 20 milliampere or maybe into a 0 to 10 volt this is supply so it consists of uh, this primary element so its a function is to uh, create the differential pressure because we know that delta p is directly proportional to the flow rate so that's why here we introduce this orifice plate now the second element is here which is uh, which is nothing but uh, the capacitive sensor capacitive sensor so we know that the capacitance c is given by epsilon epsilon a epsilon a by d okay so epsilon a by d so any one of this parameter whenever it is going to change so it changes the capacitance there is a change in capacitance so in secondary element uh, or this capacitive sensors uh, it consists of a two plates and in between there is a diaphragm and uh, to this particular sections there are uh, actually the connections or here it is uh, here it is have a two different terminals like a low pressure and the high pressure so on this particular pipe we can see that here we have a one tap and here we have a another tap obviously from this side there will be the higher pressure and here will be the lower pressure so this low pressure will be applied from this side to this uh, capacitive sensor and high side of a terminal is connected from another side we will see the internal operation of this differential pressure transmitter. So here we have a, a three different cases over here. So what exactly happens inside a internal a in, internally in differential pressure transmitter that we will see. So first condition here you can see that when the high pressure as well as the low pressure which is equal then the output will be a zero volt okay obviously when the lower pressure is equal to the higher pressure terminal so it will remain stable and there will there, there is a no any deflection uh, of a diaphragm and that's why there is a no change in a capacitance and that's why this capacitance is directly proportional to the output voltage uh, or output 4 to 20 milliampere and that is happens this uh, capacitance which is output uh, which is signal conditioning through this signal conditioning circuit there is a amp operational amplifier and all that things are there so that is done with the help of uh, signal conditioning circuit so here simply what is happening over there in first condition the high pressure terminal and the low pressure terminal both are having the same value and that's why we are getting the zero output voltage now in next condition you can see that higher terminal pressure is ha having a greater pressure than this lower terminal 
okay so at that time here you can see that this diaphragm is moved towards the opposite plate so as per the capacitance we know that what is here going on what which parameter is going to change here the distance in between two plates right so capacitance is inversely proportional to the distance in between two plates but here something is going to change the distance in between two plates is going to change because of the change in differential pressure and uh, that gives us the uh, linear relationship in between uh, the flow rate and uh, the output which is generated over here so in this case when the high side is having the high pressure and the lower side having the lower pressure then it will generate the positive voltage so it indicates that the uh, left hand side uh, pressure is higher than the right hand side pressure so at that time what will happen it will use as the positive voltage um, and uh, that will be the linear to the uh, that will be the linear to the differential pressure and differential pressure is directly proportional to the flow rate right now in a third condition uh, there is a opposite uh, we can say the operation is there so this di uh, the diaphragm is moving towards the right uh, towards the left hand side because the lower side is having the higher pressure than the high high terminal so because of that what is happening here the diaphragm is going to move towards the left hand side and uh, the distance in between these two particular uh, capacitors uh, or distance in between these two is going to change and uh, which changes the capacitance and this capacitance output is going to the signal conditioning circuit here where it is going to signal uh, conditioning and then use output in a negative voltage okay so it clearly indicates that the lower end is having the higher pressure than the um, than the high pressure so in this way this differential pressure transmitters is work and this can be utilized for the different application like to measure the uh, flow rate and to measure the level inside the tank so this application uh, here we consider the flow rate which is flowing through the pipe I think you like this video. Thank you for watching this video. We will meet in a next video. Thank you so much.